Well, hello, it's Earth Painter. I'm going to do a very quick review of the Insta360 uh, InstaCare process that I went through with my Insta360 X2. Made a video a while back where I took a crash on my electric unicycle and uh, kind of dove forward and uh, ended up um, scratching both lenses uh, on the Insta360 X2. When I bought this camera, I did buy it with Instacare. So um, let's just go through uh, the process. I broke the camera on July 3rd. That's not a super important date, but that's when it first happened. Uh, July 7th, I called Insta360 customer service and uh, I received instructions via email for a work order to begin. Uh, on the phone, the customer service representative was very clear about how the process would take place. She did inform me that the Instacare would cover the cost of the repair. Uh, I also received a link via email to a page that reported the status of the repair work order. Emails were very clear on how the Instacare worked, clicking on a button at the bottom of the work order of the page after the repair quote was completed in order to... Um, um, basically, I guess you'd say pay for the repair via Instacare. So on the 8th, I mailed the camera out. Uh, worth mentioning, they do not want you to mail them uh, memory card or battery. So um, take out the battery and the memory card and then just sell the unit or um, send the unit. On July 14th, so approximately a week later, I got a report on the damage and the cost of the repair. Uh, I will state, because I have Instacare, I'm not really clear on why I was sent basically an invoice on that repair page. Um, the quote for the repair was $99 for each lens, $14 for a back cover, and $13 shipping for a grand total of $225. Uh, at this point, there was no button at the bottom of the Insta, uh, three, Instacare page, status page, for me to press in order to complete the work order. Uh, it basically just had the monetary value of the repairs. So I emailed Instacare again, um, and I asked them where the um, Instacare payment option was. And in that email, I also linked them a link to my YouTube video that had my PEV crash that actually showed this, that the accident actually taking place as proof that it was an accident and uh, I didn't damage it. I don't know how I could have intentionally damaged it in that way. Um, I don't know if they wanted the proof, you know, probably not. Um, I think the button not being on the uh, work order page was probably an oversight. It was just an accident because um, I got an email pretty shortly after I emailed them. And uh, when I then rechecked the page, with that information, the button for Instacare was then at the bottom. It was simply a matter of clicking that button that completed that process. Uh, and then they basically, I guess, began the repair. Three weeks later, I emailed them and asked them where my camera was. Uh, and then basically received it days later um, on August 7th. So it took basically four weeks from beginning to end for the process to go through. Maybe a little bit less, a little bit less than uh, four weeks. Do I feel that the Insta360, uh, that Instacare was worth it? I do, I think it was worth it. Um, I mean, the repair would have cost $225 without it. So that was covered, um, but it definitely wasn't as, smooth of a process as perhaps I would have liked. 
I still don't understand really why they combined the uh, invoice with the Instacare. And it was fishy that um, they asked for money from me and I didn't have the Instacare option and that I had to basically go out of my way to request it. Again, probably just an oversight on their end. Uh, it also, I felt, took a little bit too long. Um, once I, they diagnosed the problem and I was able to complete the work order, it took another two weeks from that point in order to get the camera back. I do wonder if um, you're not using Instacare and you are actually paying for the repair, if it doesn't go a little bit faster. Um, maybe somebody who has sent their camera in to um, Insta360 to have their camera repaired without Instacare could comment and um, state how long it took to get their camera back from the point at which the problem was diagnosed. For me, it took a little over, well, about two weeks, about two weeks to get it back after the problem was diagnosed. But um, if a retailer is going to extend, going to offer a replacement uh, repair warranty, um, I really think that they should go all in on that process like a company like Apple. If you ever go through Apple's customer service process, and I have several times, it's painless. They just make each step very easy. They serve you, the customer. You never really feel like they're trying to come out and get you in any, in any way, shape, or form. It's kind of like Apple has made a customer service process where they take the hit um, as a result of something happening to their pro product in order to serve the customer. But you got to pay for it. You know, like you got to pay for Apple Care in order to get that excellent customer service. Well, I paid for this additional warranty uh, replacement um, repair process for Insta. So I'm expecting a smooth, refined process. And I just kind of feel like I had to kind of keep going out of my way to move the process along. Um, it just wasn't very smooth. It also took a lot longer or a little bit longer than I would have preferred. So I definitely would not give it a perfect rating. If this was a rating out of five stars, I would probably give it four. If I was being really harsh, I would give it three, three and a half stars. And that gets to my final conclusion. If I were to buy another Insta360 camera, which I think is highly likely, it's a good camera. Uh, there's a lot of things I like about this camera. I like the software, I like its ease of use. Um, I do think they should make a version of this camera with a higher resolution. Um, but I understand who they're selling this product to and why it is what it is. I would just want something with a little bit better image quality myself. Um, but in the future, I could see myself buying another product from them based on my experience with this one. Would I buy Instacare with that future camera? I would not. Uh, I feel as though based on this process, um, it's not exactly what I would like as a paid service. So it's kind of, um, I'm kind of um, on two sides of it. I'm glad I got it with this camera because I broke this camera and I'm glad I didn't have to pay for the repair. But if I uh, were to get one in the future based on this process, I wouldn't pay for it. Uh, what I would try to do is just take better care of the camera and really keep that in mind uh, with its use, maybe even go a little bit out of my way for more protective cases if I could find something that doesn't disrupt the optics that much. Um, and maybe I would track some other reviews and other people's opinions on Instacare moving forward. And if I discovered that they had improved the process and that it was a better customer service process, then uh, I might change my mind and then get the Instacare on a future camera. So I hope that that covered all the bases. Um, I've seen some people talk about Instacare. I've never seen a 
review on YouTube where a person actually went through the process. I'm sure it's there. I just, I just haven't seen it. So I felt like it was worth talking about that myself.